Hello and welcome everyone to the uh, inaugural video post about uh, Project Airbags. This will be our replacement for the current YPP made by Three Rings. We love it, we uh, cherish our memories with it, but it's time to move on. It's time to make something new, something modern, and uh, something I hope everybody will enjoy as much as we all enjoyed the previous one. So, let me show you some of our very alpha work. First up, we have the island. As you can see, we have some lovely clouds floating by. We've recently added two trees and uh, a windmill that even spins on its own. Uh, in the future, we hope to add things. We want to have a, like a ship Ooh, and uh, probably a couple of rails just to keep people from you know, stumbling off after a few tankards at the tavern. But we hope to have a couple of ships, a whole rest of a town over there where you can purchase everything from grog for your your uh, ship to cannonballs, cutlasses, and whatever sort of cantankery items you would like. There will be also options for a crew quarters, and uh, we'll see what else kind of comes up as we go along. Want to keep the the look of the islands nice without getting into the overcrowding population that they currently have. Yeah, to the tavern we go. So, here's our tavern. I know I've shot some pictures of this before. This will be going on a, under a large overhaul here very soon. We recently got a whole bunch better looking cannons. I have a uh, whole bunch better look for the bar that we're going to be posting shortly. As well as some texturing that's going to make this really sort of, sort of pop. Right now we don't have any bar games to play yet. But that is a uh, project we are going to be having working. Uh, the one note I'm going to say is I have my cat Murphy, who's always been joining me. He's going to have a place at the bar here on the end, uh, where he'll be drinking and uh, yowling uh, at occasion. Alright, on to the ships. Here's where you'd be on your job board. We'll have all sorts of information, including the, uh, the ship how many crew positions are open uh, as well as I hope to have a little button where you can click and view the captain's history for pillages or whatever adventure they're going on how many they've done their average haul how long they're normally out that's that sort of information to help you join up with one that fits your style so we're just gonna jump on the ship here as you can see we've also done a large update to the look of the ship turning around here uh, we got some lovely waving flags here I'm particularly proud of these those are those are those are my personal pride and joy it took me a, a weekend and a half to get those to undulate and move back and forth in their pretty lovely states Going to be doing a whole lot more with those later, but for now they're uh, working as intended. We'll be adding more and more, adding more details, and building it out. Now you can go over and our gunnery game, of course. Very similar to the classic, but you'll notice we also have a few extra options, like there's holes that will be opening and closing. There will be a secondary, so once all the guns are loaded, it will immediately switch to a second mode, which will allow you to swab the deck, uh, effectively speeding up the deck, putting wax down, clearing holes, and moving pieces around. You will not have to be searching around forever to find the, the perfect board. The perfect board won't exist. You will play, and the perfect board you will build. So that will be kind of a progress thing, especially when you're trying to uh, start off quick. It's almost better to sit on the board than it is to jump from board to board to board. Let's see. We have our sailing mini back here. This is, again, just a quick start. We uh, have had... Just a little bit of work done on it, but start to start. There will be a navigation station here, of course. And now we actually have a below decks, too. It's a little dark and dingy, but that's usually how the below decks are. Here's one of the bilge pumps. Our steam machine puzzle. This will probably be our alternative for the 
uh, bilge, it will allow the water tanks and ship to move faster and efficiently. By filling this out, the goal will be to keep that needle in the green zone by filling it with air, water, heat, and fuel, and of course avoiding junk as much as possible. There will be some uh, additions to this, I hope to increase the board side as well. So that will be a, a fun thing to add in. Heading towards the front up here, we have our carpentry puzzle. And of course we have the drag and drop options. There is uh, two versions we're working on. This one is more of the Wudoku version, where you will fill up these 3x3 uh, three three squares and then they'll clear. And then we'll go back to doing... Uh, once you clear one, it'll leave the pieces on the other, and you start filling it in, doing combos in length, as well as uh, in squares will get you more points. There is a sword fighting video that will be accompanying this. We'll go ahead and post that. Uh, it's me and Davik, one of our, our more skilled individuals, uh, has been doing a great job on the sword fighting. We've even had multiplayer already. So we're pretty, pretty proud of that. This is my pride and joy. This is the bilge. I even have little splash pages for it. And it's a pretty standard match three right now. I will be making various options for this. I don't want it to be a constantly in the same state all the time. You'll clear a board. It will go on to another one that can have options like instead of a... Uh, trying to make the largest match you can, it will be a combo. So you're trying to move pieces as quick as you can to keep the combo going as long as you can will be more valuable in that game mode. Switching things up like that will assist not only in having a diverse game so you can be sitting down and playing it not feeling like you're grinding on the same page over and over and over again, but it will also uh, help counter bots because unlike humans, bots are terrible at adapting to change. So as many small changes as I can make that people can jump in and out of, the better it's going to be for overall gameplay. We'll go ahead and head up to the top up here. Uh, not go back down. Not go back down. So this is it. Just a uh, short little stint aboard the uh, ship. We haven't come up with a formal name for this rig. Oh, and I fell off. More rails uh, necessary in, in all facets of life, really. Uh, I'm thinking that we're going to have a maybe physics part that will prevent us from falling to our doom. But, uh, so long, and I hope to hear from you all in the comments.